sometimes, but it's, uh, you know, it's a good feeling. You are afraid, but you, sometimes you get hurt. But uh, as soon as you, you realize what, what's going on, you, you want to get back in the bike. So that's, that's what we live for, you know? So I enjoy. So yes, we are at the Indian Supercross Racing League in Bangalore. And this is the eve of the grand finale, which takes place tomorrow. And with me, I've got one of the ace racers. He's a world-class racer from Italy. He's Lorenzo Camperossi. And he's part of the, as you can see over here, SG Speed Racers. So he's part of this team and he's one of the top racers over here. So I'm going to speak with him and I'm going to ask him from where did his journey start. So Lorenzo, where did this love affair start with bikes and, you know, Supercross and all of that? So since I was little, I always uh, like dirt bikes. Uh, my dad is a car driver. He likes to ride car, but he's, uh, he's passionate uh, about engines in general. But he never loved the motocross so much. And one day he just buy me one motorcycle as a present. And from there, we, we start our journey because we were new to the world. And then from there, we just uh, went uh, every race possible and we learned uh, from each other, from other, from the from other events and everything. And then one day I just fell in love with Supercross and that's uh, where I felt my my best riding was. So I kept pushing there and uh, it, it took me everywhere in the world almost. And how young were you when you actually started out? Do you, can you recall? So were you six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I think I was around uh, seven. My first race was about seven years old. Yeah, something like this. Jesus Christ, seven years old yeah. and you're racing. Don't you feel afraid, Lorenzo? Uh, sometimes, but it's uh, you know it's a good feeling. You are afraid, but you sometimes you get hurt. But uh, as soon as you you realize what what's going on, you you want to get back in the bike. So that's that's what we live for, you know. So I enjoy. Lorenzo, why Supercross and not the other formats of racing? I don't know, it gives me so much energy and uh, I love the jumps, I love the crowd, you know, it's just, uh, it's everything now and uh, in the motocross it's uh, more open, you need to have longer motors, it's just, uh, I don't know, I love supercross and it gives me so much adrenaline, so it's just a feeling I have. Lorenzo, as you just said that you've, you've travelled to a lot of places in the world, I believe this is your first time in India. It is. How's the experience, brother? It's, it's intense, that's uh, for sure it's intense, you know, the people are so good. The, the food is different from where I'm from, but uh, you need to like it. Me, personally, it's a little bit too spicy, little but uh, too yes, spicy. I, I enjoy India. The people are kind, they're sweet, so they treat us so good and uh, they're they are taking this very seriously, so it's good. I like it. You think there is some future, there is some promise in Supercross racing in India? Yes, uh, yes. I mean... India never had a Supercross league, Supercross race never, and they built just such a big event in the first series so i think they made some mistakes for sure but everybody do and uh it's the first series so i think if they keep pushing it's gonna be best for sure and okay uh the three tracks let's talk about pune the one in ahmedabad and the one here personally you ask me i feel this is the trickiest yes it, this is the hardest one why so they just make the uh, actual supercross race the truck so the jumps are bigger the rhythm is bigger the boots are bigger like in pune we didn't have boots uh, in Ahmedabad we had, but the dirt was soft, so they, they got like very low uh, and uh, just they build it harder. So This is harder, right? It's it's almost proper Supercross, yes. Actually, I spoke to Jordi sometime yes. back and Jordi told me, you know what Ankit, the one at Pune, the one in Ahmedabad, they are not typical classical Supercross tracks. The one that we've got over here, that is classical Supercross, you know, it gives you that vibe and all of yes, that. Yes, it's, it's what true. Do you say? It's true. It's true. This is this is uh, almost like U.S. Supercross for sure. In, like in U.S., it's it's harder and everything. But you have to understand that we have also like Asia rather. They need to be learning as well. So I think this is pretty pretty hard. We we race everywhere. You know, in the world, we we have a good series in France. Uh, I travel myself from Italy to France to to race, and uh, the track are like this. So I think the, the event is gonna be good. Uh, have you picked up any Hindi? You beat in India for I think. Roughly about two months now? Yeah, but uh, every uh, after the race we, we fly back home, so we stay only a few days. We just okay. come here like on Tuesday, we, we get used to the weather on Friday, we race uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday morning we just fly home. So we don't have a lot of time, you know, to, to spend, uh, we don't have a lot of time to spend here, so. Let's talk about the team SG Speed Racers. I spoke to Elena uh, when we, you guys were in Pune. Yes. She had a story to say, uh, and she also spoke highly about the team, the team culture and all of that. What do you have to say? You've been a part of so many teams internationally, right, yeah, Lorenzo? Yeah, it's true. What makes SG Speed Racers very different from the rest? 
uh, as I said before, is the is the first time for uh, for uh, for them to, to build a team like this. Uh, for sure, they need uh, they need to learn something. But uh, I want to give all the credit to Nelly, our team um, to manager, because he's providing such a, a good job. You know, it's, it's pushing in the same direction as us. Uh, I could say something different for other people, but I don't want. So the the strong point of SG is for sure Nelly. Nelly. Yes, that's I'll what makes to, the difference. Okay, I'll have to ask you some tough questions. Yes. What are the big drawbacks of ISRL season one? Uh, something that they could work on and you know maybe correct it, rectify in the upcoming season, the season, the second season. Uh, I don't know. I would think about the communications. You know, with the riders, the contracts and everything needs to be more a little bit more clear. Um, the timing, because uh, in Pune we had some misunderstanding with the timing, like uh, we show up for practice and everything was late. But you know, we understand it's the first time, so we all, we are all patient. Some sometimes more, sometimes less. But uh, overall, they just need to go with the flow. There's nothing specific that they need to change. Lorenzo, I wish you all the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. And it was a pleasure speaking to you, Lorenzo. Thank you. All the Thank best. you very much. See all you. All the best, brother. Thank you.